When mattress performance carry that weight, I carried a mattress everywhere I went on Columbia's campus for as long as I went to the same school as the guy who raped me. During this piece, there was this media frenzy uh, and many interviewers were inundating me with interview requests, uh, but they all kind of asked me the same handful of questions. And at a certain point, I thought to myself, wouldn't it be nice if there were a robot that could answer these questions for me? So in self-portrait performance with object, I made that robot. Here Emmatron is. People could come and ask me anything they wanted, but if they asked me something that was already on Emmatron, I kindly direct them over to her. Two really strange things kept happening in these two performances. One was the way people interacted with me via touch. So in match performance, many people would just kind of reverently touch me as I walked by as if I could heal them like a saint, which was of course a violation of my body and was really upsetting. In this piece, self-portrait, many people would say, wow, this is so normal, except for the fact that I can't touch you. And I was like, why do people think that they're supposed to be able to touch me? It's so creepy. So this all forced me to reconsider how art could act as a healing space for many people. And in the Healing Touch Integral Wellness Center, I tried to take these two things, touch and talk therapy, and put them together. So I made the Healing Touch Integral Wellness Center look like a doctor's clinic where there's this expectation of touch. But the meat of the piece is talk therapy the patients would have a one-on-one -on -one session with me, completely private, in this treatment room. So I'd seat them on that table, and really, I mean, it was amazing. We talked about why people needed art, and once you get to the bottom of it, it's for really personal reasons for every single person. And many people divulge similarly traumatic experiences, and I learned a lot about art through this piece, too. I'm interested in, like, and, and I guess this is part of, like, that's, that's like, such, that's such a hot topic right now, right? Like, safe spaces, trigger warnings, all that stuff. I, I've been thinking a lot about, like, you know, if safe spaces are places where people think that safe spaces are places where um, we don't have to feel. But I actually disagree with that. Like, I'm really interested in the definition of a safe space in which we can feel as hard as we want to and be supportive in that. Yeah, like places to really feel. And yeah, I guess like I'm, so lately I've been thinking about like, in what ways can we, or like if art, if the project of art is to make us feel more, right? Then like potentially like that could be the end goal, right? Creating spaces where we can all feel as passionately as possible.
Well, no, you're just not good. 